Hi guys, welcome back to Bromet Lectures. In this video, we're going to cover your thyroid sick syndrome. So your thyroid sick syndrome is usually one of the conditions that um, most medical students forget. And so this is gonna be a quick video, uh, but we wanted to make this video in regards to this matter since uh, medical students usually focus more on hypothyroid or hyperthyroid states and usually forget uh, this syndrome, okay? So for the definition, it is that uh, thyroid uh, hormone levels are abnormal in these patients, but the thyroid gland function is normal, okay? So function of the gland is completely normal, and uh, let me highlight that because um, although it is related to the thyroid, uh, in regards to the hormones, it is a uh, non a thyroid gland specific dysfunction. Okay, so the etiologies usually it is related to chronic uh, disease states such as malignancy, congestive heart failure, anorexia, or chronic renal failure. But either acute states can also develop into these um, states, which is sepsis, acute my myocardial infarction, pulmonary embolism, etc. Okay, the pathogenesis goes like this, the outer ring, the, uh, the iodinase is blocked. So the outer ring one is blocked, which is the one that uh, converts T4 to T3. And the one that's left, the inner ring, the iodinase converts free T4 into reverse T3, which is uh, completely inactive, okay? So there's an overproduction of the reverse T3, which is inactive. And there's also uh, described abnormalities in thyroid binding globulins, but uh, keep these for the pathology, okay? So for the diagnosis, notice that there are two different states in which you can find your patient. And it is our, either an early mild state or a prolonged severe state. For the first one, notice that the T3 is going, uh, is going down. Your reverse T3 is going up, as we mentioned is going to increase because of the inner digiodinase. And T4 and TSH are going to be normal. This is telling you that because it is an early or mild state, your thyroid gland and your anterior pituitary is able to keep up with this condition, okay? So this is the reason behind the patient being completely euthyroid, okay? And now if the disease is long enough or if it is uh, severe enough, now, you have the same, right? The, the T3 is going down, your reverse T3 is going up. But notice that neither the T4 nor the TSH are able to keep up. Uh, the TSH case is in particularly remarkable because if you have an hypothyroid state, right, why is the TSH not compensating, right? And so it may be because of uh, the reverse T3 effect on the anterior pituitary, but this pathology is not um, well elucidated, okay? But keep this in mind for the diagnosis. And now for the treatment, the lab tests, these ones, are going to return to normal whenever uh, there's resolution of illness, okay? So whenever the patient that has a myocardial infarction, congestive heart failure um, is controlled, he is going to be able to return to a normal thyroid state, okay? And that's gonna be for the video.